So, you're carved up. Carved up, are you? As soon as you feel your liver glycogen depleting by just 10%, you fill it back up with raisins like an asshole. You raise an asshole. In today's video, I hope to inspire you to let your liver glycogen deplete and start running off the ether of the universe for a little bit. Found a new park. She's waiting for my love. She's waiting, waiting for I thought it was gonna be peaceful here. All I hear is traffic from there, and we got a weed whacker guy over here. Oh, shit. I could just do a voiceover, and then you wouldn't hear the lawnmower people in the background. That's, no. Well, that was a disaster. Loudest park on earth. I thought I was going into peaceful nature. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be such a relaxing video. So we do the video out here on the balcony. We're still in nature, kinda. So today's video, I wanna talk about, there's actually only two ways you can sustain your life. That's a lie. You got two options to fuel yourself. You either eat food, or you eat yourself. People give eating yourself a bad name. They're always like, oh, that's starvation. You're starving yourself. Leave it to a bunch of noobs to make the most beneficial thing you can do for your body. Make it sound bad. Like, oh, you're starving yourself. Sarah, come on. Everybody, I don't care how healthy you are, we all have damaged cells in our body. No matter what, your knee, you think your knee's good, there's something wrong in there. There's something tweaking. Or your colon, my colon, oh my God. So we all have these damaged cells and the only way to get rid of them is to enter the process called autophagi. It's not how you say it? Autophagy. It's basically just the process where your body eats itself. And the only way to do that is to stop eating. If you constantly have an influx of food coming in, your body's gonna choose that. It's like, oh, thank you. We'll just use that then. But when you stop intermittent fasting or long-term water or dry fasting, your body's like, what are you doing, hombre? We need food. You're not gonna, okay, well, we got this. We can take care of ourselves. We're independent. We don't need you, mom. So the body starts to evaluate. What do I have to eat? The liver, full of glycogen, maybe, depending on what you ate yesterday. Carbed up, carb junkie. So your liver's full of glycogen. You have like 300 calories there. So like, oh, all right, I'm good to go for a couple hours on that. But then I will be hangry and be looking for something else. So a couple hours go by, the liver gets depleted, and then your body's like, okay, now what? You have a bunch of sugar in your muscles, but that can't ever leave. You can't use it for anything else but using that one muscle contraction. So it's like, that's locked in. Can't use that. Liver glycogen gone, what's left? You have body fat and protein. And this is where the biggest misconception lies, the myths and lies surrounding this whole shit. It's gonna blow your mind. Dr. Amon Ra enlightened me on this subject. And I'm like, whoa. So basically, at all times, your body wants some fat and some sugar to burn as energy. So obviously, your body fat is a great source of fat, but where are you gonna get the sugar? Because we do need sugar, and this is where the lie lies. Everybody says when you go on a fast or you're intermittent fasting, your body wants sugar so it's gonna turn your muscles into sugar. Cause that's what we can do. We can turn protein into sugar and fuel our brains and be happy. But the secret is the body does not look to the muscles first. That's not, why would you do that? You're hungry, you want food, it's like, okay, keep the muscles, maybe this lazy ass will go out into the forest and catch us something, like a, a rhino or something. You could do it, we believe in you. The body is very muscle sparing during a fast. So you know where it gets the protein from? 
damaged cells. Weakened loser cells that didn't form right, but they got damaged by your toxins. You fried too many potatoes. Some of your gut lining was like, ow, fuck. Why'd you do that? And so you got your crippled stomach cell. He's like, fuck, guy ate potatoes fried. He fried them. Look at me. How bad is it? How bad is it? It's bad. So your body goes searching for these damaged loser proteins and takes them. And it's like, not only has it found a source of fuel, but it's also removed damaging loser shit that was holding you back in life. Wow. What? So when you intermittent fast daily, I like to do at least 22 hours, 22 to 23. Your body is literally burning your diseases for fuel. And this process is only further enhanced the longer you water fast. It's like the longer you go, the deeper your body digs for diseases to chew up and spit out. Turn that damaged protein into sugar. You got a life hack on your hands. I feel like I should mention the obvious here, but if you fast for like 10 days, your body's gonna start tapping into that muscle eventually. So uh, eventually you're gonna lose some muscle and you probably do lose a tiny little bit of muscle even on like a three day fast, but it's so much less than we thought. And I've been on a couple of dry fasts and my strength, I didn't lose any strength. When I worked out a couple days after my dry fast, I'm like still beating my record. So it's like, it's nothing to worry about. You fast 40 days, okay, you're gonna lose some muscle, but who gives a shit? Regular life fasting intermittently and daily on a long-term tip. Muscle sparing is the key to life. Your body knows what's important. Why did it? I'm filming this part later in the day. I figure I had to add in that part. Somebody's gonna say, oh yeah, you do lose muscle. Yeah, you lose a little bit. On a long-term fast, nothing to worry about. Strength will be there. The sun is so bright, you have no idea what that Thailand sun is like. You don't have no idea. And no, I'm not afraid of the sun. I get sun, I, I stand out here on my balcony with my underwear, I don't give a shit. I get a little bit of sun, balanced, just not too much, like three minutes a day. So people are so quick to throw out, oh, you're starving yourself as a bad thing. It's like, no, I'm regenerating my whole life. What are you doing? You're cramming in Debbie's pizza snack pocket snacks every six minutes. It's like, we gotta stop for a bit. Your body has so much fuel available to it, even my skinny ass. Why is he bending like that? If you're eating every two hours, you're never gonna tap into your own resources. What's up, little buddy? Why are you... They, they, I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death right now. So to lose weight and heal diseases at the same time, you're not gonna be feeding yourself, you're gonna feed on yourself. And then you wanna refeed too because you can get super skinny doing the water fasting and stuff, but I can maintain my weight no problem eating one meal a day. So that's like bare minimum, bare maximum. No one needs more than that, unless you're an Olympic level javelin thrower. So that might be the best thing in all of Dr. Amon Ra's books. Just that fear relief. The body does not look to muscle for its protein needs. We do need protein during a long fast. We can burn mostly fat. We can switch over into ketosis and get most of our calories from fat, body fat. But we need a little bit of sugar still, no matter what you're doing. So you're gonna look for protein but it's so relieving to know that you're gonna look for damaged proteins that you would want out of the body anyway. So that's amazing. So to sum things up and to give you some practical advice, depending on what you ate yesterday, say you do eat one meal a day and it's a high carb meal, your liver glycogen's full by the nighttime. By the time you wake up, I don't know how much is left, maybe 60% still there. So you wanna deplete that. Go for a long ass walk. Go for a run if your ankles can handle it. I start running and I don't like the way my ankles feel, so I can't do it every day. Don't love it, but go for a bike ride. 
anything to deplete the glycogen. Or, you could have eaten a high fat meal the night before, and you don't have much liver glycogen to begin with, so you're already kind of in the body fat burning zone and protein diseased cell using form zone. You're in the friend zone for life, bitch. <laughs> point is to not be afraid of running on empty that uh, you want to get your body used to that and I do believe in my own experience being on a high fat diet allowed my body to tap into that whole process easier the fat burning mode and the recycling mode it just feels like when I'm on the high carbs it takes me a lot longer to feel that magical fat burning mode like I get there in like afternoonish but it takes me a while to burn through that glycogen, then the body starts panicking, what do we do, oh my god, and then we switch. Whereas if you're on the higher fat diet, I do believe that and fasting go together better, from my experience. Post your thoughts down below if you disagree. So, I think that's about it. We're done here. I hear the oh wow bird. I finally saw it. Can you hear it? I heard it really close and I looked down to that tree and he was there. He was there. He was oh wow. Oh wow. I got a really terrible picture of it. But it, you can see the bird, kind of. I had my zoom camera waiting. He's all hiding behind leaves and stuff. But now I finally see the bird and he's no longer the Ted Carr bird to me. I cured myself of that. Years ago, I watched a Ted Carr video, and he's walking in Thailand, and that bird was going, and he's like, oh, there's the oh wow bird. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. And I was like, there's the Ted Carr bird. And I kept hearing it, and I would only think of Ted Carr, but now I can think of the black beauty that is the oh wow bird. So I'm cured, I'm cured. Okay, we're done here. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you say oh wow during sex. You're just like, oh wow. Oh wow. That would get annoying. You don't even realize that? It would. Videotape yourself, you'll see it. You'll see the look on her face. Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. No dogs. No wine. No smoking. No throwing your trash out in the trash can. Throw it on the ground, please. No weighing your food and counting calories in the park. Lose weight the natural way. Fast. Fast intermittent. Fast, you loser.